putting this on. Okay, so I was asked this question uh, about when something arises, like how quickly do you let it go, what's wrong, you know, to sort of dwell on it a bit. Like uh, an example would be like a, a thought, so one, one thing to let go of things is like, um, there's a thing of as soon as a thought emerges, this is very advanced, at very high levels of consciousness, as soon as a, mer a thought emerges in consciousness, and it's a bit like what I teach with the field of feelings, as soon as a thought emerges, you let it go immediately. Um, and the, the difference between someone who's not advanced in the technique I teach on field of feelings, but I'm going to answer your question, is that in the beginnings, when you try and do uh, field of feelings, it's like if you're starting off new to spiritual work, you'll be, I'll say, like, as a thought emerges in consciousness, let it go and just allow things just to be, like the feelings or energies just to be and let that be. So in the early days, it's like you'll be, a thought will emerge like I need to do my shopping. And also I, I forgot to buy my bananas and I forgot to buy, uh, and I also need to buy some uh, clothes. And it'll, you'll be in that much of a story before you remember you're supposed to not be in your thoughts and then catch it after about a minute and then go back to just being with what is. So, and that's fine. And so you're trying to catch the thoughts quicker and quicker and let them go. And each time you do it, you're catching the thoughts faster and faster before you're back to just being with what is now, in presence. So, or just allowing energies or, or feelings to be experienced. Now, how, how you do that? Now, I think there's pr probably a lot of different teachers and a lot of different things. I would say a lot depends on where you are in your level of spiritual development and what spiritual tools you've picked up along the way as to uh, what you should do. And that can often be an intuitive thing. Like uh, sometimes people might be uh, in uh, 12 steps and may want to write down inventory or try and under or people who've gone to therapy might want to go and try and understand the, the childhood dynamics or whatever. But I think as you get to, I'd say there's no, there's no rule because at uh, different levels of consciousness, at different levels of your journey, uh, the, it might be useful to, um, to allow a bit of free thinking as to the deeper meaning. But here's, here's one way I would look at it, is like, you know, everything I need to clear will come up, you know, and me needing to explore it now, if I, if I on some levels, I mean, I have just sort of said something like find out, but, you know, like if, if uh, something comes up for me, like, I don't know, um, I'm afraid of dogs, you know, and I, as soon as the thought thing, oh, there's a dog, I'm af and, and I let that thought go immediately. And then as a thought, another thought tries to emerge, I let that go immediately. If, you know, if, so in a way, it's a kind of a, a, a mindfulness in now, mm. you see. So if I clear that and there is more to come up, it will come up, mm. you know, there's this thing of like, okay, well, maybe there is a lot of baggage around dogs. You know, but actually, if I just clear the top line thing in this moment and let it go, uh, the other stuff will, pro will, I'm pretty sure, come up in divine order. Yeah. You know, uh, so I don't need to. I can just focus on being clearing now, and then let that go. And the next thing that comes up, I clear that now. Or if it's thought, you know. But this is quite advanced. I'm not necessarily saying everyone should do this because some people are at different let stages of the development where other things might be useful to just write a bit and understand a bit. But at the, I'd say at advanced, this is my view of advanced level, is you're just on the moment, in the cusp of every second, and you're clearing the now. Mm -hmm. So as a thought emerges, you know, oh, I'm afraid of, do no, clear it. And then another thought, but this is because of, no, clear that, so I'm here now. And then this, so if I clear that, and then something else is coming up later on, I, I would trust that the different layers of that will come up in, in the, in divine order, you know, orchestrated by the Holy Spirit at some point. So it's not like I need to go off into my head or into some kind of analysis or understand a deeper level because those deeper levels, I'm sure, will come up. Yeah. It's not that I'm, I'm avoiding it by not. But if I clear the top line, then it will. I'm not saying that as an iron rule, but I'm just saying that's how I'd see it at more advanced levels. I trust to clear the now. Yeah. But other levels, it might be, you know, uh, that might be too much, it might be better to do something else. Is, is that okay? Yeah.